Okay, so this is the diffusion through membrane lamp for IS1. The first step is going to be adding the Lugol's iodine solution to the beaker. We will add three droppers full. The next part of the procedure is to add the starch solution and the glucose solution to the Ziploc bag, which is our model for our membrane. So first we'll add the starch solution, you can make your observations of that, and then we'll add the glucose solution. We'll be adding about the same amount of both to the bag. Remember, the bag is serving as a membrane. It's not a perfect, it's not exactly the same as a cell membrane, but it still has essentially small openings in the bag that can allow for certain things to pass through based on their size. Alright, the next step of the procedure is to take the Ziploc bag that has now glucose and starch in it and put it into the beaker with the glucose iodine and let it sit for, um, this one that we actually let it sit for about two hours. So, and then see what is able to pass through. Remember, as we saw in the previous experiment um, with the cell membrane, that when glucose iodine and starch come into contact with each other, they make a dark, dark purple color. So here's the beaker after a couple hours. And so we can see that there has been a change to the color inside of the bag. Um, and that means something, which you'll obviously have to try to figure out. And then we will also do the glucose test with the glucose testing strips. So just take one of these things out, show you the initial color. We'll dip it into the beaker solution and then let it rest for a second. And we'll look at the color. For the results of this, we'll actually take one that's been tested and compare it to one that hasn't been tested so you have a control to compare. So we let that sit for about 30 seconds. So the test strip on the left of your screen is the one that was put into the glucose solution. The one on the right is a clean test strip that has not been put in the glucose solution. And here is the bag just for your reference so you can make any conclusions you like from that.